testing, testing. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Sound is good there. I'm using a new app today, so I just want to make sure you can hear me. Okay, let me just check on the Facebook page. Make sure that is working here. So I use Restream for my lives, but um, someone, uh, his name is Anthony, told me about this app called Crisp. And it supposedly removes background noise. I tested it and it was literally so crazy. I like tested doing a live and then I played like barking noises of like a dog and like a baby crying. And it literally block the noise. So I'm going to try using it today, but I'm about to turn it on. So let me make sure that it still works. Dun, dun, dun. Happy Wednesday, guys. Um, I haven't seen the comments yet, so I don't know if anybody's here. I'm still uh, troubleshooting. That's why I started a little bit early. Okay. Um. Is it working? Okay, cool. So the noise cancellation is on, but let me see. Am I still noise cancellation? Testing, 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 testing. Okay, cool. This is so cool. Literally, it blocks out all the noise. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Craig. Oh, Craig, you've been using Crisp? Yeah, I tried testing it before, and I couldn't actually get it to work. So, um... Then I like found out what the problem was. And so now it actually is working. But we're going to test it out because um, there's a lot of lawn uh, stuff going on right now. So um, I didn't want the background noise. So anyways, happy Wednesday, guys. Um, let me pull up my stuff so I can see what the heck I'm teaching. And I'm really excited for this presentation. I low-key got like a little bit nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never taught this before. But I think it's just because I'm literally so excited to teach it that I'm so nervous and so excited. So this is going to be fun. So let me, um, yeah, we're going to start at uh, 12 o'clock on the dot. Let me know how you guys' day is going. Um, I literally dropped that coffee post today because I was like, oh man, I might have my third cup of coffee, but thank Thank goodness I didn't because it's, I'm already doing too much. So I didn't need any more coffee than I already have now. Okay, let me close out these extra windows. So yeah, happy Wednesday. I'm so excited for this training. I've literally been working on this every day for the last week. Just going back, going back inside of it, making sure that it's really amazing. And this is honestly my most favorite topic. You, if you've been with me on this journey, a lot of the trainings have been about Instagram. Hey, Tina. Hey, Kaylee. Have been about Instagram. And this one is actually about Instagram. But what happens? How do you actually like really, really, really make the sales? And it's like, yeah, my most favorite thing. So yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I'm still in Virginia. I have not left. Okay, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's a good day. It's a good Wednesday. I really actually want to go kayaking. I want to go outside and go kayaking. So yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Also, this is going to be a really fun training. I have some fun little giveaways. If you've ever been on some of my past trainings, we have some fun giveaways. And we're going to do that again today. Okay, so let me get my notes ready. I'm really excited, guys. And let me know too what you guys think about 
sales funnels in general? Is this something that you are excited to learn about? Uh, do you already have experience in it? Is it something that you're trying to set up? Oh my gosh, Tina. Yeah, New Orleans. I love it. South Dakota. That's amazing. I'm excited. And also, like, are you guys work from home people? Is that why you can join this live at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday? Canada. Hey, Lakeisha. Oh, yeah, Brandon. I'm still in VA. Actually, uh, the D.C. area. Yeah. No, I'm still in VA. I haven't left. I haven't went back to Texas yet. I kind of just felt like there was no point because my cousin moved. So everyone I knew in Texas was moving out. And I was like, I don't want to be by myself. So I just stayed in Virginia so I can be near my family. Hey, Tina. Oh, yeah. Remote and healthcare. Yes. Okay, cool. That's that's amazing. Currently strategizing. Oh, yeah, Nicolette. Okay, cool. So hopefully then today is going to give you some new insights that you haven't had before about funnels. Kaylee, I have no knowledge of sale funnels. I've run before. Okay. So this is also going to be helpful too, because especially um, since you're service-based, um, one of my previous students is service-based too, where she actually does like a lot of the content and branding for you. And so she used the sales funnels to basically, you know, provide her expertise and sort of like paint the value of what it looks like working with her and the time that they save. And she closes a lot of her customers in the DMs. And she was able to do that with um, sales funnels. So I'm excited. And sales funnels is really, guys, not as hard. It is literally just like this step, that step, this step, that step. It's like just the steps that someone takes to, um, uh, you know, get to the sale. That is literally all it is. But I think because of all the tools that are out there and how complicated sometimes people make it, it can seem a bit overwhelming. But that's really all it is. It's just steps, the steps that people take to actually get to the sale. But again, it also is like your customer journey. So I'm excited to go through this. Um, I'm in um, Smithfield. So I don't know if that is like north or south. It's like near Hampton University. I literally grew up right down the street from Hampton University, which is why I did not want to go to Hampton University. Hey, girl. Okay. Um, let me just see something here. I feel like. So we're going to start in five minutes. I'm seriously so excited for you guys. this, you guys. Literally, I couldn't sleep. That's how excited I was. <sighs> so let me just actually do something really quick. But yes, let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know what your experience is like with sales funnels, um, where you're at in your sales funnel journey, if it's something that you're actually interested in doing. And I want to do something really quick. I am literally so glad I did not get that second cup of coffee because at first I was kind of tired and now I feel kind of like wired. And honestly, I was saying this to you the other day um, in one of my past lives. I was like, I really love teaching and I really love doing the trainings. And I find that I get a lot of energy from doing the teachings and doing the trainings. So. I'm excited. Anyways, we're going to start at 12 o'clock sharp on the dot because I have so much that I want to share and I want to make sure I have the time to share it with you guys. So guys, let me know how your Wednesday is going. Let me know um, what you think about the sales funnels and what we're about to learn today. Any questions that you may have? Where you're at? Are you actually building some funnels? And also, I feel like my computer is just a little bit lagged. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me well. Okay, cool, Lakeisha. Okay, cool. Cool, Lakeisha. Yes, girl. Working on your first sales funnel. Okay, perfect. So I need to sneeze. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to mute that because I'm not trying to sneeze. Achoo! Oh. Uh, 
I don't know if my sneeze was muted or if my sneeze wasn't muted, but I had to sneeze. Um, yes. Okay, girl. Yes. Hopefully this will give you some insights on your lead magnet too, but you already know I go so in depth in the training and Hey Lane. Yes, Maylene girl. I was so tempted to get a third cup, but I was like, Terry, calm, calm down, calm down. You don't need, you don't need that much more coffee. Hey, Lamorla. Hey, girl. Okay, so I guess my sneeze was captured. So I tried to mute it. Sometimes I feel like, because I use this like mic, that all the extra noises that I make are ASMR style, like when I crack my neck or something like that. And it's just like, uh, that might be gross to somebody else. Okay, so we're going to start in two minutes. I'm so excited. So yes, guys, I'm very excited. This training is one of my most favorite topics. I have never talked about this on a live ever before. So I think that's why I'm literally so excited. I feel like a kid in a candy store. And <laughs> okay, Tina, thank you. Oh my gosh. I thought I needed it, but I guess I did it. Um, Okay, cool. So this is going to hopefully make funnels very simple for you. Okay. And I'm so excited. Hey, Kiara from Mississippi. Okay, Brandon. Yeah, I didn't do a good job meeting that. Um, but yes, guys, make sure that you participate. Participation actually, I found, helps to reinforce the information that you're going to be learning. So don't just participate because of the hidden prizes. Participate because if you are here and you are giving me your time, I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to leave you in a better place when we are done with this so that you have new information or new things that you can take away that you can move, use in your business, but also your life, okay? And also, I know this information. So it's not for me, it's for you. I'm here for you, okay? So let's go ahead um, and get started. So I am testing the new crisp uh, noise cancellation app. So if at any time, you don't hear me, please just like put it in the comments so that I can um, switch back to a regular mic or something like that. Okay. So yes, let's go. So I'm excited today. Our conversation today is all about selling on autopilot. Okay. I like automation because I like to save time. If you like to save time, then this is definitely for you. I like systems and funnels because they give me clarity and confidence and direction and to be able to actually see what my efforts are and if they actually are getting the results that I want. And also they make you more money in your business. So who doesn't want that, okay? Dun, 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 dun. Let me go to my presentation. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let me double down, make sure the slides shows up on the screen. Okay, cool. So again, hopefully I'm gonna try to keep this under an hour, but you know, sometimes when I get super excited, um, I just be going on and on and on because I just love talking about this and I just want you to get it and I want you to love it as much as I love it. So make sure you remove any distractions that you have. Make sure if you have your pen and your paper and you are ready to take notes, because I'm going to be moving fast. And yes, there will be a replay, but it'll only be up for a, a day or so. So you want to make sure that you get this information. Okay. And if there's anything that you resonate, you know, with write that down, everything that you think you can take action on today, write that down because we are action takers. We are doers. We don't just come to these free trainings and, you know, walk away doing nothing. I want you to be able to actually, you know, use this information and get started. Okay. And also Brandon, there's so many different kinds of funnels. All right. So this is just one version of it. Okay. But as long as you understand the principles, you're going to be able to do all kinds of things. Oh my God. Hey girl. Yes. Okay. And then again, make sure you participate, be intentional with your time. Okay. You are here to learn something. So let's actually learn something. So you're going to get a lot of value today if you fit any of the following criteria. So We've already talked about it. I see a lot of you in the comments. You want to learn about sales and funnels, aka sales funnels. You want to learn more about systems and automation. You want to save yourself time. Hey, Indigo. Yes, Lakeisha. Note takers like uh, my friend Lyrica says are the money makers. And you want to learn how to get your business to run without relying on you 24-7. So how many of you are tired of constantly having to promote just to make ends meet? 
right? So like, let's say, let's say one day you don't want to show up because you just, you're just tired. This is what this is going to teach you how to do. And then you want to learn more about lead generation, right? So you want constant flow of new leads funneling into your business. You want constant flow of targeted traffic. And then you want to learn how to take that, the, that targeted traffic, your followers, and you want to turn them into paying customers. And you don't want to have to do it by begging or chasing or anything like that, okay? That's the one thing I also love so much about systems is that it allows you to operate from your most authentic self versus trying to do all these things that don't necessarily match who you are, right? So today's presentation is definitely going to be different. Get girl, your girl's tired, okay? Hi, Lynn. So today's presentation is definitely gonna be different. You already know if you've caught any of my lives if you've caught any of my free trainings, I don't give you any fluff trainings, okay? I don't like wasting time. If you also know me, you know I always talk about how important my time is. So why would I waste your time giving you fluff on this live? Because it's essentially my time, okay? So I'm going to give you so much value because what I teach is not theory, okay? This is not something that is made up. It is literally practical business systems and principles that have been around for ages. but now you're going to actually know how do you actually apply it to your business, okay? So I've been doing this um, since 2012 when I graduated from college. So we're just going to leave it at that age-wise. But these are the same systems of, you know, things that I have done for clients where they're doing 100K months, where, I, you know, they do 10K months, whatever. Systems, sales funnels are business principles and processes, okay? This is not theory. So make sure you stay till the end if you have any questions, because I'm going to save some time to answer any of your questions. Yes. Okay. That's another thing. We don't, I don't want you to have to, to show up all the time when you're tired, right? Because then you're putting work into, into your business and it's not even from your best self. Okay. So yeah, I don't give any fluff. So today is going to be, you know, one of those days where I'm going to really show up and show out. Okay. And so my goal today is to just teach you one thing, if there's anything that you will take away from this training is how to finally master turning your followers into paying customers, okay, without having to pump out a ton of content and being stuck on social media 24-7. So if you see my Instagram, I'm barely on there, okay? I actually like showing up, though, a lot on Facebook. It's just because I have fun. So I want you to be able to show up actually because it's fun, not because you feel stuck, right? There's a difference between doing something because you have to and doing something because you want to. So I'm going to show you how to take those cold leads and turn them into hot customers on autopilot, okay? You don't want a bunch of free, uh, freebie hoarders, people sitting in your email list, right? You got to pay for that and nobody's buying, okay? We want, we want pay in full, ready to buy customers, okay? Yes, okay, no fluff, okay? <laughs> So that is my goal today, to, for you to turn, take away how you can take a cold lead and turn them into a hot customer. So if you have followers already, if you don't have followers already, it doesn't really matter because as long as you're growing the right audience, the targeted audience, you're going to be able to convert them using this funnel I'm going to show you today. It's literally so crazy. I love it. And I'm just literally excited. So just want to note that I'm going to try to give you as much as I can without keeping you here for your entire life. So we're going to have a short time together. So if there's anything that you resonate, you want further help with, stay till the end. I will um, answer any questions. And I will also take some time to show you how you can further take these ideas that I'm going to show you today and how you can actually put them into practice. Okay. So my final ask before we get started is that you take action on the ideas that you resonate with. Okay, so I want to just just let me know in the comments really quick because I'm looking for the action takers. Do you consider yourself an action taker? Okay, a doer. Let me know in the comments where my action takers and doers at. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, girl. Okay, because if you are an action taker, then you're going to be able to actually take what you learned today and use it and apply it in your business. And not only that, if you stay till the end, I'm actually going to give you a copy of the lead and sales funnel that we go over today so that you can actually have the map and the blueprint that we're going to actually draw out. Okay. So all my action takers, all my doers, I see you. I see you. Yes, here. Yes. Stephanie, I already know you are definitely an action taker. Okay. Hey, Nicolette. Yes, girl. Okay. So 
why you guys are probably here. What are we going to actually solve today? So you're probably here because you feel like or you are spending every day, quote unquote, promoting, okay? Even with your discounts, you're barely making any sales. And if you do, they aren't sustainable, they aren't repeatable, and they aren't predictable, okay? So how many of you are tired of, you know, dang near being a discount dealer, trying to hand out all the discounts, and still people aren't really buying, okay? Like, we're not doing that anymore. Or you don't really know how to build a targeted audience. So, so a lot of a lot of times I know people are struggling with finding the right audience, right, bringing the right people. So then you're making all of this content and it isn't converting. So at that point, you basically are kind of like, I don't know what to do. OK, so that's another reason why you're here. And that's a problem that we're going to fix. Another thing we're going to fix is that you feel like you're leaving money on the table. OK, you're not capturing your customer data. You don't even really know how. And then also you don't even really know what to do. So then you're, you know, losing all of that precious, precious traffic and you're not nerd. You don't know how to nurture it on autopilot without you. OK, and so you don't want to be glued to your business 24 seven. OK, we didn't leave a nine to five or we didn't start a business to be 24 seven entrepreneurs. And we're tired of not seeing any results and we're tired of constantly feeling defeated. Right. How many times do you feel defeated when it's like you try, you try, you try and you literally get no results versus What's the opposite? When you get a, a few wins, right? That momentum, that confidence builds, okay? Because you have an amazing offer that you know is going to change people's life, lives, but you just want to know how do you actually get it in their hands? And how do you get it in their hands without feeling salesy, without begging, without, you know, undercharging your worth, okay? Because that's what we're here for, all right? Because I know that a lot of people in my community have a really amazing transformational offers, transformational services. You just need the skill and the tools, the resources, and the strategies to get it into your ideal customer's hands. That's that's literally the, the only you know problem that's holding you back. There's nothing wrong with you or your offer or your price point. So what is it that we actually want? Okay, if we if we achieve what we're trying to achieve, what it is, what is it that we actually want? So we want to be able to effortlessly sell without selling. You can literally do that. We make things so hard and it doesn't have to be by creating content that converts. Okay. So I want you to have fun making content. I'm in the middle of a collab. If Diane is here, I'm in the middle of making a collab post with her for Instagram and I'm literally having so much fun. That is what I want you to have. I want you to have fun. And then you want to establish no like trust and sales all at the same time. And post only when you want to, not because you have to. So how many of you have heard of that, that concept, no like trust, but you're like, I don't even really know what the heck to actually do with that versus where like people say, well, it's going to take you months. I get, you know, post things to get them to know you. And it's like, you don't really have months to like post every single day, show up live, do all these things. And just to try to make one sale. Okay. We don't want to have to do that. Like you can literally do that in one fell swoop. Okay. You actually too want to attract ready to buy pay and full followers. Okay. You don't want people, you want, you want people coming to your DMs asking you, how do they work with you? You want people sending you emails asking you, how do they work with you? That is literally what's happening right now is that we have people that are like, how can I, how can I join your program? They're not looking for a discount. They're not looking for anything. They're just like, where do I sign up? Okay. So no more offering discounts. Your customers are literally going to be so excited when they are checking out. Think about how many times you're so excited to check out for the things that you love buying. That's going to be the same feeling your customer is going to have for you. Yes. When people feel good about your brand and that is, there is a way to actually do that. Okay. And also I'm going to talk, this is going to also help you put your engagement on autopilot and make the social media algorithms work for you so that you can spend your time building real relationships and brand loyal fans. So I actually, like I said, I have fun now. I like being in Facebook groups. I like being on my Instagram. I have more time to actually talk because we're at the end of the day, we're all real people. So I can actually talk to the people that are in my community versus like trying to just like their page a few, you know, a few times just to get them to come back to like my page. Like we're not doing that. Okay real authentic relationships only because you have the time and we want, okay, Yasha, you want to get out? Okay. Just don't be making no noise. And you want to create a repeatable and predictable sales strategy to help you grow and scale your business. Okay. 
repeatable and predictable. That is like so key. How many times do you go throughout the day where it's like one day you make a sale, the next day you don't make a sale and you cannot figure out how, like what you did yesterday that got it to work versus what you're doing today. So we like repeatable and predictability because that gives us clarity, that gives us confidence and it helps us move with intention. Okay. This is what's going to help you generate sales on repeat and you never have to worry about inconsistent days. So that is what we want to achieve. Okay. So I'm seriously so excited. Okay. Yes. I love Diane. We're literally having so fun. Hey, Asia. Yes, girl. Okay. So just a quick hello. I am not going into a long uh, drawn out intro. Like I said, you already know, you know my trains, but just in case, so you know who it is that you're talking to. I am Terry. I'm a New Yorkie mom. She was just in my lap, but now she's wants to go to her own bed. Okay. So if there's any dog moms, dog lovers, pet lovers, yeah, I'm a Yorkie mom. I'm team Gryffindor. I'm actually wearing, um, I take it back. I did have my Hogwarts shirt on, but now I have my all real monster shirt on. And my favorite food is anything Korean. I'm half Korean. So if you didn't know that, half Korean. Yes, Diane. I was just telling them about our collab girl, about how much fun I'm having. And um, I used to be a former blogger. I had 13 plus years of digital marketing experience. I graduated from Cal State Northridge with a marketing degree, minor in sales psychology or psychology in general. Um, had multiple seven figure businesses. I used to own an Instagram app, an influencer app and a growth app. Hey, Candice. And so Instagram has just been something that I've been doing over the last decade. I've helped people grow millions of followers all around the world using the app, using different growth tools and mechanisms. And, um, you know, it's, I just, for whatever reason, speak Instagram. So yes, that might seem all fine and dandy. Like, yes, I have uh, had multiple six figure months. Yes, I've hit seven figures. Yes, this is all great. Um, but... The truth is when I started my very first business, I was 80 grand in debt. Okay. <laughs> so when I started my first business, I needed to learn how to make money without spending any money because some of the loans that I had were literally a hundred. I had two loans, I think that were 134% interest rate, but it was like, at the time it was like, I had to do what I had to do. So yeah, it wasn't like the most perfect, oh my gosh, glorious start. Yes. Asia dog mama three. Okay. Okay. Wait, I did not know you had a poodle. Yes, Licky Show, we are leveling up. Hey, Candace, and any Hufflepuffs? Hmm. So yeah, when I started, it wasn't um all that great. Okay. And also I burnt my way straight to a three-week hospital stay that cost over 40 grand. Okay. The ambulance alone was like a $5,000 ambulance ride for 20 minutes um, because I literally tried to do everything by myself. So even with financial freedom, I still didn't even know how to create time freedom for myself. So like I mentioned, we didn't build a business so that we could be 24 seven entrepreneurs. Honestly, sometimes I think about it like nine to five is a lot easier because at least you can clock out at a certain point, depending on what your, you know, your job is. So yeah. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, I have literally been there. Okay. That is literally how I started my first business. I did the whole ramen noodle diet thing, had to borrow money to pay rent, um, it was definitely very, very tough. And then even then, when I got myself out of the situation, I was not able to give myself time freedom. So that's also why I love teaching Instagram so much. I love teaching what I'm teaching so much because it's a way to actually grow your business without having to spend a lot of money to start, especially, like I said, if you are in a position where you are in debt, you don't really have any money to spend. Um, so that is definitely why I love teaching how to do or Instagram marketing and pairing it with sales funnels so that you actually, you know, get your time back. So I know, yeah, there's a lot of you that it's can relate to it. It's, it's embarrassing, you know, to sometimes be in debt. It's very discouraging. You definitely say a lot of tough things to yourself, but that's okay. Cause when you know better, you get to do better. Right. And that is why I'm so passionate about teaching systems. That's why I'm so passionate about helping, you know, you guys have time freedom to create these processes that are going to help you actually kickstart your money, make, you know, money every single day without having to spend money so that you're in a better position by the time, you know, you are ready to get yourself, you know, out of the situation that you're in. So yeah, I can see a lot of you can definitely relate, you know, to, yeah, to the, to the grind, you know, and then also too, how many of us will always say, you know, when I make more money, I'll hire a team, right. Or when I make more money, I'll, I'll get help. But the truth is it's like, 
even when you have that money, you have to know how to actually bring on that help. And that's what the systems and these processes and these sales funnels help you do so that you can finally get to a place where you are not working in your business, that you're actually working on it. Okay. Because when you're working in your business, it's that 24 seven grind. Okay. And that's, you know, definitely what we don't want. Now, years and years and years later, I definitely feel like I'm barely working. Everything at this point definitely feels easy. It definitely feels effortless, but it did not start that way. Yeah. Single. Yeah. Hello, Kaylee. Okay. Single mom of four kids and running five businesses. Yes. So systems and processes are definitely needed. Okay. So I have been down that journey. I know what it's like to struggle with debt and not have any money to make pay your bills and try to grow and run a business. I know what it's like to spend all this time in the hospital and your business stops because you didn't have systems running for you. So yes, this is exactly why I love teaching what I teach because I don't want people to have to kind of go through a lot of the mistakes that I've made when you see the solution is actually really so simple. Okay, so are you guys ready to go deeper into this training? Because I definitely am. Let's get started. I love seeing this amazing group of people that are here. Remember, my goal today is just to really help you take those cold leads, take those customers, turn them into paying customers, and do it without having to spend a lot of time doing things you don't like, without having to spend a lot of time on social media, without having to spend a lot of time making random content that doesn't go anywhere, okay? So what we're going to learn today is how to sell your offer on autopilot, learn how to leverage the power of organic and paid social media to attract ready to buy, pay, and full customers. Yes, Tina, that's exactly what this is. You don't need any money to get started. Even with a lot of the tools or software that you'll initially use, a lot of them are free to start. So you literally can start making money without spending any money. That's what I'm saying. I had to learn the art of that because I just, I didn't have any money to spend. So I needed to make money without spending money. And I found what the keys are that actually allow you to do that. Okay. So when it comes to, you know, running your sales process and your leads process, there's one major thing that I really want you to be aware of because there's a lot of things within the sales process that you can control as in like who you target, who you talk to, what your messaging is, things like that. But the one thing that we actually can't control, which is the biggest thing, and a lot of us don't actually pay attention to that is timing, sales timing. Okay, so a lot of times when people tell you no, it isn't actually a no, it just means it's a not right now. So think about how many things you have in your wish list or think about how many things you have saved that you want to sign up and you want to um, actually use, but it's just like not a good fit for you right now, right? Because it just could mean timing. It can mean that they have to wait for their budget to open up. It can mean that they bought something similar a few days earlier. So timing is a factor that's not easy to control. But with systems, this is how you get around someone's sales timing. Because systems is going to make sure that you are constantly pipelining in targeted customers and nurturing them 24-7 so that you are staying top of mind. So that ideally you get to the point where someone inside of your pipeline every single day is reaching the I'm ready to buy phase. Okay, that is a big thing of what systems allow you to do. And that's also how you actually start to make those daily sales because all now your goal is to only pipeline people into your system versus trying to like make sales and come up with different sales strategies and sales promotions. Your sales system literally is going to do the work for you. And so your only job is how much traffic, how much targeted low cost quality traffic can I get into my system so that every single day someone is reaching their I'm ready to buy point. Yes, Sherry, autopilot gives you that precious time back. Okay. So just imagine attracting perfect fit, ready to buy followers who sign up for your offer and pay in full over and over again on autopilot. That is literally exactly what systems do. Okay. And I think my, I'm experiencing it firsthand. There's people out there that are experiencing it firsthand. My students are experiencing this firsthand. This is literally is a real thing. Okay. Because like I said, sales timing, everyone's not ready to buy. But if you don't know how to stay top of mind on autopilot, when that person is ready to buy, guess where they're going to go? Somewhere else. 
because they just forgot about you. Okay. And that's it. I literally have people saying, thank you for reminding me to, to sign up because they just, you know, life happens. Okay. Here, yeah. I've been working on time management because it seems like, yes, you have so many things to do and not enough time. And yes, autopilot is exactly what's going to help you do this. You'll be able to, what I'm going to show you today, what I'm about to show you is you're literally going to get paid to grow your email list. This is so mind blowing to me that people actually pay to get people to opt into their email list because you have to pay for that storage and email list storage isn't cheap. So I'm going to show you how to get paid to grow your email list. Okay. By creating a simple, powerful lead magnet that takes your follower from lead to customer, literally in a matter of minutes. Okay. You're going to quickly grow a large and targeted following on social media. Like, I like to have my cake and eat it too. So not only can I get you a quality audience, I can also get it to you, get, give it to you in quantity. So you don't have to like wait and do the slow, slow route. You can actually do it very quickly. And then your systems are going to generate hundreds of prime ready to buy leads for you every single week. Okay. And you will create a powerful content strategy that nurtures your lead and establishes that no like trust. So no spending months and months and months trying to build no like trust when you can literally do it in one fell swoop. And yes, this can work for any business. So as long as you know how to apply the principles to your business. And then again, you're going to have a repeatable and predictable sales system that turns your followers into paying customers. So you're making sales every day on autopilot. Okay. I want you guys to literally experience that. So the time benefit. So my, 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 my people out there that are suffering from time issues, right? Most people, like I said, have to promote every day to keep the sales flowing just to make ends meet. And with systems, you don't have to do that because your only job is to get your audience into your system. Okay. So that guess what? You're going to have more time freedom, the time freedom that you wanted when you actually decide to start a business. Cause like I said, none of us signed up to be 24 seven entrepreneurs. Okay. <laughs> then business benefits. Fits. You're going to actually be able to predict and manage your money better. When you can actually see what it is that's bringing in the money, you can make wiser, better decisions versus, I don't know why I had so many sales yesterday and then not too many sales today. Okay. And then having a system is going to help you optimize and troubleshoot. Like I said, I like systems because it can, I can see what it is that I actually I did. And then I can see where it didn't work. So I can actually fix what's working and I can also make what's working better. Right. So how many of us sometimes feel very lost and confused because we don't really know what it is that we're doing every day. So it makes, you know, this entrepreneurial life a lot more tough when it doesn't have to be having a system is going to show you what it is you're doing and how do you actually <clears throat> fix it? Yes, Asia, this is going to grow your email list like crazy. Okay. I literally grew my email list to like 15,000 in a few months. Um, lifestyle benefits. Lastly, show up because it feels good, not because you have to, right? How many times have, do you work on something that you just love and it feels good and it doesn't feel like work versus doing something because you have to? That's a world of difference. That's how you actually not you know, never work a day in your life is when you actually love what you're doing. And if you consider yourself an introvert, if you don't, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, you don't have to go live and do all these things to show up and, you know, show your face all the time, make a sale, become this reels influencer. You don't have to do all that. Okay? Systems work with your personality and allow your words, which is the only thing that really matter and your story to do the connection. And so you show up when you want to, when you can in a genuine way, and you don't have to do it feeling fake for the gram, because honestly, that is just literally a waste of time. Like if you're doing things just because and you're not very intentional with it and not from your authentic self, it's literally just a waste of time. Okay. Girl, yeah, we did not sign up to be 24 head entrepreneurs. Okay. So how do we actually do this? And I know that you've probably seen this before and it's funnels and sales funnels. And there's so many different ways that you can do sales funnels. And they talk about sales funnels. I'm actually going to show you a sales funnel today because I know you're probably familiar with this little funnel concept. Yes, you need targeted traffic, right? Because if you're sending sending everybody willy-nilly down your funnel and they are not the right fit, then that's going to be a big reason why you're not getting the sales. So targeted traffic, then we already know that you, and if you don't, that, you know, now you know that you need the value driven customer journey. So you want that content that's going to really paint you as the expert, the authority that's going to establish that no like trust without taking, you know, 10 years to do it. And then of course you need that high converting sales flow. Cause a lot of times what happens is that, especially on mobile, we send them to 
a sales page, but they can't even check out because we never checked what it looked like on mobile. So these are the three main components that essentially make up the journey. But again, how many times do so many people teach you this and not actually show you, well, what is that? Like, how do you actually do that? Okay. Uh, yes. Girl, three, fives under, three kids under five. That is amazing. So, and you're homeschooling. Yeah. You don't have time. We don't have time. Okay. And the time is, why do we make these businesses is because we want more time. But what happens is that we make these businesses, but we don't have any time. So it defeats the purpose of what it is we actually are trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, girl. I'm mean, like, I mean, you know, yes. So what I'm going to show you today is your key to consistent sales, your key to attracting the right audience, your key to nurturing on autopilot and getting your time back. Okay, your key to selling without, you know, being salesy because your systems and your content are going to do the selling for for you. Your key to your operation so that you actually have workflows, standard operating procedures, something that a, your your team can actually look like. How can you build a team if you don't even know what to tell them that you're doing? Now <laughs> your system is going to actually help you. And then your key to clarity, intention and confidence when you know what it is that you're doing then you feel like even if you don't necessarily have the answer and you can't see the end of the road, when you have clarity and confidence and intention, that's that's I like to call that faith with sight, with some sort of sight, you know, and when you don't and you kind of just have to really hope and pray, but you still feel that anxiety and that worry because you don't know what to do. That's a world of difference. That's a lot of stress on the body and the mind and the spirit. So having systems just at least gives you clarity and confidence so that at least you know you're doing something that you can actually track, check, measure, troubleshoot, optimize, okay? No more guessing and willy-nilly. Leave willy-nilly and all that other stuff for other things. Yes, Stephanie. Girl, I'm telling you, this is going to grow your email list like crazy, Okay. And yes, Kier, I'm actually going to show you a sales funnel. I'm not going to just show you this little funnel thing and just like, yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Like, actually, I'm going to actually show it to you. Okay. And a lot of times the reasons why businesses fail is because of the ability to not actually see their business, the ability not to troubleshoot, the ability not to optimize, and the ability not to get to the cash fast. So we end up doing a lot of the other things in the business that don't matter. And, you know, we get to a point where we're like, oh my gosh, you know, uh, I got to make a choice. And so this systems, I definitely, system saves lives. <laughs> okay. So at this point, I want you guys to just let me know. I just make, you have to make a decision today to improve whatever it is you need to improve in your business by just seeing what it is that you're doing. Okay. Systems in general just means writing down all of the steps that it takes for you to make a post on the Facebook group, to make a post on Instagram, to make an email promotion, write those down because then you can troubleshoot, you can make it better. And then also then you can hire a team. It's going to give you clarity and it's going to give you confidence. So what I'm actually going to show you today, I'm going to switch over to my funnel screen is what I call the no like trust funnel flow, because literally it takes the concept of no like trust, puts it in a funnel and literally spits out a, a pay in full customer, or if anything, a someone opting into your email list and paying within like a second of signing up to your list. So I'm telling you, you literally go from cold to hot. When for someone to open up their wallet and to buy something that you are offering means that you have nailed that messaging. So if you can take a cold lead to a hot lead and do that within a matter of minutes, like it's literally going to be so crazy. Okay. Um, yeah. Faith without works is dead. I'm telling you, if you believe in God, he's going to show you a little bit of the path. And so when you can actually move forward with clarity and intention, it definitely is so much better than a hope and a prayer. Okay. So let's actually get into the sales funnel. I'm going to build it out. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you actually how to, um, I'm going to give you a copy of what I'm about to make, okay, so that you can actually have one for yourself. So again, I like funnels because funnels also gives you intention, okay? Successful people move with intention. If you are someone that wants to you know, start moving with intention, drop an intention in the comments. Okay. Because are you one of them? Do you just kind of do things randomly or do you do things with intention? Okay. Intention is the key to everything because you really get what you get, what you ask for. So when you ask with intention, 
Like it's just literally so much better. Okay, let me switch over to this funnel screen. We're actually gonna build a funnel live together. I'm I'm so excited. I can't even contain myself. I feel like I'm losing it right now. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So let's start to build a lead. So I'm gonna show you how to actually put together a lead and a sales funnel. And we are going to do it together in real time because again, guys, I mean, you like, you know, I like the 10X rule, Grant Cardone life. I like to do one thing and I like to get multiple benefits, okay? So that's not only why I love systems and sales funnels and automation because of the multiple benefits that I get, but also, also, I like this funnel I'm about to show you because it literally gives you so many benefits. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the traffic. Um, I think it's going just a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to actually close out the noise canceling software. I think that it is, I think it's making my computer a little slow. So let me actually close that out really quick. It's pretty quiet around here. I'm not going to jinx myself, knock on wood. <laughs> yes. And so I'm going to show you guys this funnel, um, but I'm also going to give you, uh, like I said, I'm going to give you a copy of it if I stay, if you stay till the end, but let me just um, really quickly close out this uh, noise cancellation app because it is do, 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 do. it was um it was taking up too much of the juice okay sign out quit quit okay cool yeah meanwhile while this is closing let me take a sip of water i wish i had some more coffee but i'm not gonna do that to y'all all right can you quit Jeez. Yes, Brandon, this is going to definitely help you achieve scalability. Yes. Okay, girl. Take those notes, Tina. forgot I switched off the mic. So I forgot to go back to my other mic. Thanks so much. You guys really tagged in with the no sound because I was about to get uh, on and popping. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Let me know in the comments. Sorry. I didn't start anything, but I was literally about to go. Can you hear me? Okay. Hold on. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. I switched the mics and I forgot to switch um, back to the new mics. Okay. The noise cancel app said nothing at all. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Diane. Okay, so the first thing we start off with, guys, is traffic. And I like to start off with organic traffic. And the reason why is because 
I want to make sure that I can validate my funnel. I want to make sure that I'm actually getting the conversions, the sales conversions before I spend any money. Okay. Don't want to spend, <laughs> I don't want to spend any money and send them to a broken pipeline. So this works with any form of traffic because remember the whole goal is to get all of your traffic. Your only job once you have your sales funnel built is to get all of your traffic into your pipeline. So if this can work with TikTok, this can work with Pinterest, it can work with a lot of things. But think of this training, I am just going to talk about um, Instagram and um, uh, Facebook groups. Technically speaking, I like Facebook groups. So these are going to be your traffic sources. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to create um, lead generation posts. OK, you got to get really good with lead generation copy. All right. Usually lead generation copy is very short and sweet and straight to the point. It's basically telling them what it is that you're the transformation that you're going to offer them um, or the transformation that you got. That it could be a desire that they have. It's going to tell them what it is they're going to get and how do they opt in a call to action. Three simple parts of, of it. Um, hold on, Edith. Can you still not hear? Can anybody can, can everybody hear? Let me double check. Let me. Um, Let me double check. Can you guys still not hear? Okay, cool. So Edith, um, I would say re refresh your browser. Um, so you're going to start with a lead generation copy. So again, what it is that the desire, the transformation, or the pain that you want to lead them away from, okay? So the top three uh, mistakes that you are ha you have um, to that keeps you from manifesting, the top three financial mistakes that's going to cost you a lot of taxes, right? So you want to take them away from pain, lead them away from pain, or you can lead them towards pleasure. You know, I just made 10K in a month, right? And then what it is that you're going to give them. I'm going to give you a free training. I'm going to give you a free strategy guide. I'm going to give you... Um, a free, you know, Google Doc, whatever, have, and then a call to action. Who wants to copy? So that's literally it. That's when you master that lead script, you're going to generate hundreds and hundreds of leads, and it's all free. It's all free. Okay. This you we start free before we start paid because remember we don't have any money yet, so we don't want to spend any money just yet to make money. Okay. So we start with our traffic sources, and again, it could be whatever you want. Then what we're going to do next outside of um, your traffic sources is we're going to send them to a lead magnet, okay? Now, here is the major key. So let me actually back it up. But actually, actually, I don't need to back it up. I'm right where I need to be. So with your lead magnet, do not, I repeat, do not give them fluff. Okay, that's why I say you have to be intentional. A lot of times people don't really know what a lead magnet is, the purpose that it is uh, for, so they just make something random. The purpose of a lead magnet is for your audience, your cold audience, someone that doesn't know you, to trust you. So if you give them fluff, why would they trust you to give you even a dollar? Why would they trust you to actually spend now their money with you if you just literally gave them a pile of fluff? So your lead magnet actually needs to help them by actually helping them. Okay. And you need to, it, it needs to be extremely valuable. What actually, what problem do they have in their customer journey in relation to your offer? Can you solve? Okay. So again, this can work for any business. If you are a fashion boutique, what a lot of people have that hate having to shop because, you know, they don't know what the return policy is going to be like. They don't know if the clothes are, is going to fit them. They have a certain body type, right? So give them a shop quiz, give them a fashion guide. If you sell lashes, if you sell hair, give them a, a, a quiz that teaches them how to put on lashes or hair versus, versus, uh, based on their style. If you are a coach, give them, you know, um, a workbook or a little bit, a strategy guide that helps solve the first step inside of their journey. Do not give them fluff because that precious time you took to to invite that lead in, they're not going to trust you. You're going to kill the no like trust funnel flow before it ever gets started. So actually help someone by actually helping them. Okay. So that's the biggest mistake that p 
people have with a lead magnet. Usually I like to give them the first step of the customer journey and I like to give them generally speaking the what and the why but also a little bit a little bit of the how because what's going to happen is that they're going to actually get a quick win and when they get that quick win they're who are they going to relate it to to you so naturally they're going to then want the next step but if you give them a lead magnet and it's literally a bunch of fluff then they're not going to trust you and they're never going to open anything that you have again. They're going to hit unsubscribe and they're going to unfollow. They're going to leave your group and they're just like, you're, it's a waste of their time because you literally just wasted their time. So, you know, you can be honest, throw, throw it out there. Let me know if you guys have ever thrown out a lead magnet for the sake of throwing out a lead magnet. You just kind of willy nilly with it. Um, <laughs> right. But if you understand that the lead magnet now is the key, the key starting point to your sales just imagine the impact that this mistake is going to have in the rest of your future. You you can't then throw out lead magnets and then wonder why, you know, months later you're not making any sales. It's because all that energy you put into people sending them to a lead magnet for some something that they don't trust. Why, why would they, why would, why would anybody give you their money? I can't tell you how many lead magnets that I opted in that were so amazing that I immediately signed up and purchased. Because I was like, oh my gosh, she, he or she just taught me something. And now I know, you know, how, how to solve that, that problem. Okay. So here's the, so here's the next, um, yes, you have to have a lead magnet. Basically the way you find a lead magnet is take your customer success journey, but whatever your offer is, what are the steps that someone has to achieve to actually get the results for that success, the success of this, the offer, take the first step. And then that is essentially, generally speaking, what your lead magnet is, okay? And so now here's what's going to happen. So someone is generally going to opt in. And again, this can work for any industry. My beauty, my e-commerce, my retail, your lead magnet, generally speaking, our shop quizzes, our shop guides, things like that. And then my coaches, my service providers, your lead magnets can be mini trainings, your lead magnets can be strategy guides, things like that. So someone comes in and then guess what? You now have collected an email and you're like, yes, I have got someone's email. So you are now also email list building on top of building brand awareness, okay? But I'm gonna actually show you something where this is kind. this is where the money starts to be made. So most of the time, and this is okay, but uh, most of the time people send their, after someone opts in to their lead magnet, they send them to the thank you page. But instead of sending them to the thank you page, you actually are going to send them to what we like to call a tiny break even offer. Okay. So let me um, rename this. This is where the money is made, guys. This is literally where you take a cold customer and turn them into a hot cold lead and turn them into a hot customer, okay? You're going to then give them, you, instead of taking them to the thank you page, you're gonna take them to a tiny break-even offer, okay? What is a tiny break-even offer? This is something that is just a low cost product. It could be from $5 and I would say the max is $97. And it is a, it, the complementary next step to your lead magnet. So let's say for example, your lead magnet is a free content strategy guide. So then your tiny break even offer is your uh, content kit because naturally speaking, they're going to have a strategy and they're going to want to save more time. They're going to make a, want want uh, content. So that is your tiny break even offer. And you can sell that for 37 bucks, 29 bucks, 15 bucks. Or it could be the master class, right? You give them a content strategy, but now you're giving them the, the in-depth content master class for $97. It could be a shop quiz to try on lashes. And now you're actually pairing them with the actual lashes. There's so many things, but the thing is that you are getting them right when they're in between and they're engaged and they're in the flow and they want the information that you have. The way you position this tiny break even offer, I promise you, people are going to sign up and they are going to buy. Okay. So generally speaking, you have one of two ways to do this. Either sometimes people have the tiny break even offer 
and they will uh, send them to um, the actual order page because it just depends on whatever your actual systems are and your workflows are. So they have one of two things. They can either say yes or they can say no. They don't have to take the tiny offer. They can just go straight to the, the download. Okay, so let's just draw what this path is. If they say no, that's fine. They can just go straight to the download. Okay, so this is if they say no. Oops. And they, 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 they do this. Okay. If they say yes, like I said, sometimes the um, uh, sales page is the same, but whatever, just for the sake of showing you how this looks like. If they say yes, then here's what happens. They now say, oh, come on now. They say yes. Okay. So they opt into your tiny offer because, again, the tiny offer is the next step. That's why I say map out your customer journey. Your lead magnet is the first step. Your tiny offer is the next step. But guess what? It's the next paid step. So then here's what happens. Okay. This now hot, cold lead has literally just become a hot customer because they have purchased. And then what happens after the purchase? You take them back to their freebie. Okay. This right here alone, if you are building your email list is literally going to pay you to build your email list. I just started a new lead magnet of mini course thing or whatever I, I made. And that's already made almost $600 to grow. I think it's like 800 emails. Who would rather get paid to grow their email list than pay to grow their email list or grow an email list with a bunch of freebie hoarders? People that are just sitting there, they're never buying, they're never taking action, they're never using what you have, they're not, not going to, you can't really remarket to them because they didn't really care about your lead magnet in the first place, right? But you're already capturing them. It's like capturing them when they're at the McDonald's checkout and they ask if you want fries with that. You already got them inside of the workflow, okay? So let me know if you've actually even heard of this concept. The reason why it's called Tiny is because it's generally speaking a small non-barrier to entry product, something that again supports the lead magnet, but someone feels comfortable enough to buy. And then the reason why it's called break even is because essentially when you start to pay to run your traffic sources through it, it's going to at least break even on your ad spend so that you again aren't wasting money while you are growing and generating leads. Okay. Now this is generally speaking where most people stop. This is where they stop their lead magnet flow. And this is also what you call leaving money on the table. Because remember, if we uh, focus on the concept of sales timing, people aren't always ready to buy. So if you're not nurturing and if you're not staying top of mind, then when they are reaching their point of I'm ready to buy, where are they going to go? Somewhere else. So here's what you can do that is literally going to be so easy, okay? You're gonna set up your email automation. So if you ever sign up to your email service provider and they're like, they got flows and stuff and automation, and you're like, I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what to do with it. This is what y'all do with it, okay? You're gonna set up your email automation. And I'm telling you guys, it is. this is literally so easy to do. You're piecing your steps together, okay? Generally speaking, it depends on whatever it is your business is, but I email my email list every single day, okay? And I used to have 5,000 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers, but I deleted anybody. I always am deleting people who do not engage within six months. So um, I would say actually eight months. So I always keep my list um, low. So right now I think we're about like at 11,000, but out of the 11,000, I don't have an un high unsubscribe rate and I also have 98% active rate. Okay. So now what you're going to do again, this is where the biggest mistake that a lot of people make is they stop. They don't, they, they send, they send only one email, the, uh, the download email, the, you know, the, the, the freebie email or whatever the, you know, here's your download, right? That's it. And then after that, you never hear from them again. But you spend all this precious time, money, and or I mean, precious time and energy putting together your lead funnel, getting people inside of your funnel. Why would you stop here? And again, 
This is what's going to, to, to actually keep you top of mind on autopilot. So generally speaking, you're going to have a sequence that is, I would say, um, on the safer side, up to six emails, okay? I like to do up to six emails. But here's the thing. The other mistake that people make is they just send them random emails because they don't really know. Well, let's just say five, okay? I don't feel like making this go all the way. So we're going to say five. And you usually send them one to two days apart. But here's the biggest mistake that people make is that they just send them random emails and they start sending them other pieces of content that they want them to consume. And so they get lost. But if your lead magnet is extremely valuable and you know that if somebody watches it, you are going to help them get unstuck in the first part of their journey and solve their problem. Why would you send them emails that sends them away from that lead magnet? You need to have the intention to accomplish mission number one, get them to complete the lead magnet. This is also how you take make help people take inspired action and actually get, you know, use the lead magnet to get results. So these emails are designed to get people to complete the lead magnet. Okay. Come on now. Complete lead magnet. Okay. Remarket the tiny offer. So if they didn't buy it the first time, they're going to see it again. And also push them towards your main offer. Okay. So generally, oh no. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to fix that E. I'll fix it later because sometimes the text part of this is like so hard to use. So generally speaking, you want these emails to send it right back to the download because you want people to actually get that result. We call it result stacking. The more wins you can help people achieve, the more problems you help them solve, right? Because you're not going to solve the big gigantic problem of the entire customer journey. What are the tiny steps and milestones in between? Help them achieve each one of those steps, stack those wins and results. And guess what? They're going to relate that back to you. So if your lead magnet is giving what it needs to give, aka value, not fluff, then these first initial emails need to send them back to this lead magnet so that they actually watch it. So it could be, hey, just checking in. Did you see how... Um, you know, my student got this result, or did you see um, how such and such, you know, found the perfect lashes for, you know, her night out? Did you see how, you know, I helped this result because they completed this part of the lead magnet? Do that. Also, opportunity. Hey, saw you didn't grab the tiny offer. You know, here's a chance to get again. And I'm telling you, it works because I literally get emails. The reason why this system works is because I'll get emails of people that miss the tiny offer and then come back and say, hey, like, where is it? So then I have to manually send it to them. But why not just now put it in my automation because then my automation is going to take care of that for me. OK, then when you get towards the end of your email sequence, you're going to start pushing them towards your sales funnel. OK, but now actually, let me just back it up real quick, because I'm actually going to show you another form of automation which I really love. And if you're not hip to this, please get hip to this. Okay. So what we have here is because when you do your Instagram posts, your Instagram stories, you are going to tell them, hey, look, check out my lead magnet. But did you know that there are automation, Instagram automation bots Yes, if you haven't, then, you know, definitely uh, hit up my guy, Craig. He can help you set up it, um, automation. But this is another way to stay top of mind. So when people come from my Instagram and they're opting in my lead magnet, I also have in place an, a DM automation sequence that is doing the same thing as my email, making sure they complete watching this download. So do you see where I am literally saving myself so much time? Okay, let me let me zoom out so you can start to see what autopilot looks like. Okay, I started with Instagram and I started promoting with Facebook to get traffic into my pipeline. I send them to my opt-in page. They become a lead. 
oh, but instead of sending them to my download page, I send them to my tiny offer because I want to make money while growing my email list. If they say yes, then guess what? They went from lead to hot, cold lead to hot customer and back to the, the download page. If they say no, that's fine because guess what? I'm going to get you later. So they're going to end up buying the tiny offer eventually as they continue to get value, as they continue to digest this high value lead magnet that I have because you don't need 10,000 million lead magnets. You just need one to give what it needs to give. So so let me know right now where, where you guys are at. Um, Kaylee, you can use multiple systems. It doesn't really matter. You can use uh, you can use Samcart. Per personally, I use uh, ClickFunnels. I'm going to be moving to something else. Um, Stephanie, you can. There are tools that allow you to do all of this in one place. Yes. Besides, obviously, your Instagram and your Facebook stuff. And also with Instagram, guess what? A lot of the content, uh, well, all of the content on my Instagram is scheduled. It's autopilot. That's why I say it's autopilot from start to finish. I schedule that. I schedule the DM automation. And so that way, what is my only job? To spend time getting more traffic into this pipeline. So now we're going to end this funnel by now saying we just went from lead customer, but that's not really where we want to stop because we want them to actually go to our full price offer, right? We want them to be ready to buy and pay in full. But guess what? They have been primed. They have been made ready because you have literally just provided the most amazing autopilot experience for them. And you actually were intentional, right? Because you actually helped them move through. Yes, MailChimp, any email service can do automation. You just got to set it up and have it trigger. Fire off when they um, opt into your lead magnet, fire off your email sequence. And that's it. But now you've actually moved with a lot of intention. So by the time you're ready to get them to your pay in full offer, your, your uh, I'm sorry, your high priced or not your main price offer, they're going to be more primed. They've already spent money with you or they and or they've already got a lot of value with you. OK, so then you send them the last few emails now start to send them to your sales page or whatever it is, the main thing that you want. It doesn't have to be your sales page. It could be if you have a higher ticket offer or if the way that you close your sales is on the phone or DMs, it could be sending them to your DM. It could be sending them to book an appointment. It could be sending them to, um, you know, to your, to your shop page. It doesn't really matter, but we're just going to, for the sake of this, call it a sales page. Okay. So then you have a few things to, to um, consider. Now someone's like, okay, they check out your sales page. And again, you want to make sure your sales page is optimized for mobile because a lot of this traffic is going to come from mobile. So you want to actually look at what your mobile site looks like and you want to make sure i'm not going to go into the details of the sales page but just like all every part of this funnel the sales page definitely has to have the right components and again whether it's your e-commerce or if you are um you know coach or um service provider there's there's lots of details that you have to have as well as if you are closer on the phone that's like again a whole nother um uh, process. Then um, let's say someone's like, yes, I, I am interested and I want to, you know, click to go to the order page. Okay. So they say yes, but like we know life happens. Okay. So they get distracted and they haven't completed the order page. Okay. So what does that now need to happen? Right. And I know you guys know about this. That's when you need to fire off your abandoned cart. And how many of you do not have your abandoned cart? Um, let me tell you that not having your abandoned cart is worse than not having your nurture series, because at this point, someone is really, really interested. But there again, it could be timing. It could be they just got distracted. There are so many different reasons as to why they did not um, you know, complete that purchase. So if you don't have abandoned cart, you are missing out. And also your abandoned cart has over a 50, 60% open rate. They want to be reminded. I literally can't tell you how many times I have people email me or reply to the abandoned cart email and say, oh, thank you for reminding me. 
because they forgot. So this is the huge mistake because this is literally the definition of leaving money on the table. They have come to your checkout page. They are ready to buy. So here's the thing. The other mistake that people make is not being intentional with their abandoned cart emails. They just send them the emails to say, hey, just come back to your cart. You forgot your cart. That's not what abandoned cart emails were. Okay. That is, you know, the, the, the basis of what they're for, but abandoned cart emails serve major, major purposes. Okay. This is another part of what you call doing the selling for you. Okay. So your abandoned cart emails need to cover things like FAQs because sometimes it may be questions that they have. You say, oh, hey, I know you, um, you know, haven't checked out your cart yet and you're wondering if this may work for you. Well, let me actually show you a, um, a case study of someone who like is in their same industry that got the result. Right. So FAQs. OK. Also needs to address. I hate this thing. OK. Benefits. Because remember, we don't sell our product. We sell the benefits of our product. We sell the transformation of our product. So it needs to cover benefits, okay? What are you gonna get? Oh, by the way, you know, you've always wanted, you know, to be able to go into your job interview confidently and not have imposter syndrome. This is going to be, you know, your key to actually walking in with confidence and, you know, ease and grace. So you wanna cover benefits. But most importantly, objections. All of those objections that your lead may have, the cost, the time, the skill, this, that, is it gonna work for me? What's, it, what's your return policy? What's your shipping policy? Is this gonna fit me? This is what your abandoned cart emails answer. It answers all of the questions that they generally would ask you if they could talk to you on the phone, if they could talk to you directly. That's what your abandoned cart emails do. That's how you complete the selling process. So then what happens is that someone hits your abandoned cart and they're like, oh my gosh, yes, you know what? I was worried because I'm a busy mom. And then all of a sudden you had an email that says, hey, you know, thinking you might not be able to use this service or use this because you're a busy mom. Well, look at this case study of such and such who's a mom of four and da, 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 and she got this result and here she is now. And they're like, oh crap, that's exactly what I was going to ask because I was wondering how much time it was going to take. It's little tiny questions like that. It literally is like the most simple questions, but because we don't use our abandoned carts intentionally, we are literally leaving money on the table for people that have shown that they have a massive interest to buy. And so guess what? They make a purchase, they go to the thank you page, they move forward and so on and so forth. So this is literally, you put this together and at a certain point, all your only job is to get traffic into this pipeline. Okay. But you can see now, let me back it up, that there are so many different touch points in which you can optimize. If you're seeing in your abandoned cart sequence, email number three converts better than the other ones, move email three um, number three up the pipeline. Okay. If you're split testing your sales page and you see one side does better than the other, use the new split test. If you see email number four works better than email number two, move it up the pipeline. Okay, if you see people aren't buying your break even offer, change it, just change the messaging, change something else. But do you see now how you have the visibility to actually make these more intentional visions and more intentional troubleshooting, more intentional optimizing, okay, more sustainability? You can actually look at numbers. Another thing I have to do at the end of this, okay, this is another gem. If they do not purchase, if you went to the, the emails and they ended up just not purchasing, then guess what I like to hit them with in my last abandoned cart email? A didn't buy survey. Because then I will know the reasons why they didn't buy. Oh, it was too complex. Oh, I didn't understand this. Oh, this wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? And so when it gets to the point that your didn't buy survey simply is I can't afford it right now, or I, it's like the then it's just timing and it has nothing to do with you. You've articulated the value, but some people just don't have it. They just cannot buy right now. And that's what you want your survey to get to at the end. You don't want people to say it was confusing. I didn't think it was worth it. I didn't understand it. No, you just, 
if you just want it to literally be a timing thing. So that way, all you're doing is pipelining people over and over again into this targeted pipeline. And every day, someone's going to reach a point where they are at their ready to buy stage. And because you're using a system like this to stay top of mind, you are going to be the first person that they look at. Okay. This is literally one simple setup that is so powerful and it gives you so many benefits. I can't tell you from growing your leads to nurturing your emails to making sales, right? Then again, using this DM automation, your Instagram um, algorithm score is going to go up higher because it sees you're having conversations in the DM, which Instagram really loves, okay? Like I said, growing your email list, growing your site traffic, and not to mention, I'm not even going to go into this, but when you start to actually have the money, your traffic sources begin to become those pay traffic sources, right? You're, you're remarketing, you're supporting that with omnipresence where you have multiple different places that you're marketing, which basically just means like, you know, they see you on email, they see you on Instagram, they see you on Snapchat, they see you on TikTok ads, they see you on Google, they're everywhere. You're just everywhere. And guess what? It's going to literally build off of this entire funnel. But now when you go through this funnel, you know, every, you know, 100 people that opt in 10% buy my tiny offer and 5% start to buy my main offer. So then, you know, okay, I can justify starting to send paid traffic to it because I know that I'm not sending them to a broken pipeline. I'm not sending them to a broken funnel. Okay. This is crazy. This is literally the key to getting your time back, to getting clarity in your business, to getting sustainability, to cap getting a repeatable, predictable process. And to also just like, all you have to do is now just find traffic, <laughs> show up, go on podcast, go on live. And then guess what? At the end of it, Hey, you know what? Here's my opt-in. Here's my lead magnet. Because you know that that lead magnet is going to continue to give them more value and it's going to actually push them towards the sale versus you trying to promote every day, you trying to make a sale every day. No, your only job is to get traffic into your funnel and to optimize your funnel and to make it better. Yes. Yes. Oh, Stephanie. Yes. That was for the content kit and the content kit works for any industry, but this funnel works for anybody. It's basic business principles. You just have to understand how to apply it um, to your business. These five to six emails are rerouting them to the tiny offer that they've had. No, the five to six initial emails are routing them to finish the lead magnet. Because if the lead magnet is the high value lead magnet, it's going to get them a quick win because that's what you want is to actually solve their problem. So you want them to consume that lead magnet and finish it. Also, the plugin MailChimp and WordPress. Do I need to use WordPress? Uh, you use whatever you want to get your leads. MailChimp has a uh, lead, gener lead form. WordPress has a lead form. You can use that. Thank you, Lori. Lori, yes, girl, you already know. You already have all the access to this information too. Um, yes. So now, guys, do you actually see what a funnel looks like? Because remember, a lot of people just kind of teach you that cone. And they're like, yeah, get targeted traffic. Yeah, get content and have sales. But you're like, well, what the heck does that actually look like? And how do I actually do this on autopilot? So again, this is all set up on autopilot and, and, um, yeah, keep in mind, I'll give you a copy of this too. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Cause like it's hard with this, the way this text thing is, they don't allow you to, um, like see where the cursor is. So I'm going to clean this up. And then yes, if you stay to the end, you will be able to get a copy of this so that you can have this for yourself. Um, but yes. This is so powerful. This is so simple. You set this up and then that is where you have the free time to show up, okay? And to then use the actual numbers that are that you can get the data inside each of these pieces of the funnel to actually make wiser decisions, okay? And then to do the, the selling for you because honestly, how else are you gonna sell? Sell through emails, right? But like not very many people actually buy promotional emails too often. You have to sell in your stores. You have to do all this stuff. It's a lot. So if you can send them down a pipeline, a funnel that you know is going to do the selling for you, it's going to save you so much time. And also you can troubleshoot and optimize this funnel. You can find the pieces of the funnel where it's like, okay, you know what? This, like I said, this break even offer wasn't the best. Let me change it out. Okay. Let me split test these sales pages. Now you actually can move with intention and have more actionable decision-making. Okay. So yes, this is definitely like so much more amazing to see what an actual funnel looks like. Okay. Don't make the mistake and just stop here and send them, you know, the download email. No, make sure you send them the emails. 
to get them to complete your lead magnet if your lead magnet is valuable because it's going to allow them to trust you. It's going to allow them to understand that you can actually solve their problem. Then push to your main offer, okay? And if they are showing interest by actually getting to the order page, life happens. Sometimes they are in the car. Sometimes they're distracted. Sometimes they can't, you know, sign up then and there. Send them those emails and not just say, oh, here's your cart. You forgot this. But, oh, hey, here's your cart. You forgot this. And let me tell you the benefits of really why you need this. Let me answer some of the questions, the FAQs. You may have. Oh, and before you even get started, let me crush all of your objections and faults so that you're like, oh, yeah, thank you so much for already, you know, answering this. OK, so just imagine what your future would look like if you don't make any of these mistakes, because, again, you're spending all this time getting this traffic for what? For them to go off and then go buy somewhere else because you didn't do your job nurturing. So, so we don't want, you know, to do that. So I want you guys, again, to make a decision today to stop making these mistakes and to create different results. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot because I got so crazy. Um, but shout out to Kiera. Uh, girl, you are going to get a Starbucks gift card on me so that I don't know if you like Starbucks, but I hope you do. <laughs> So, so yes, just send me uh, your email in my DM and I will get you um, that gift card. Okay. So let's break down what we went over today and how you can start um, taking action on this. Okay. How you can actually um, start getting freedom. Okay. So we discussed today how you can actually combine your lead generation system and your sales system all together so that you are literally doing your no like trust in one fell swoop. We talked about using curiosity scripts, different lead magnet scripts to encourage people for free and invite them to check out your lead magnet. You can do that on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, whatever. Then they come into your lead magnet. And again, it's not fluff because if it's fluff, how would they trust you with their, your dollars? So now you've provided them value, but instead of sending them to your thank you page, you actually take a step between and you actually offer them the, a product, the next step in, in the journey of their the lead magnet. So then now they've uh, turned from a cold lead to a hot customer. Okay. And then you are now nurturing them using your emails to nurture them, to stay top of mind, to actually get them to take action. Right. Cause again, how many people are freebie hoarders? How many people just sit there with the lead magnet and don't actually use it? Your automation is not only going to nurture them, it's going to encourage them to actually complete the lead magnet so that they can get the value and equate that value to you. Then it's going to automatically push them to your next sequence, which is your sales page, which is where you, the money is made, which is the real offer you want them to buy. And then, then when they opt in, show interest, if they don't immediately convert, then you're using your abandoned cart more intentionally because you are crushing any of your objections, their objections they have, any of their false beliefs, and they are, you know back into that cart ready to buy. Okay. So let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much, Brandon. I'm so excited that you are actually here. I always love when you're on the lives. Um, you know, let me know, uh, you know, why now that you actually know what a funnel actually looks like, you know, why it's relevant and important for you answer just one of them. You don't have to answer all, um, you know, any feedback that you have that you found was the most valuable from understanding the no like trust funnel flow, right? So how I take that no like trust concept and actually put it into practice. Okay. Not with you having to make months and months of content, but actually putting it into a, um, lead and sales strategy and, or, or let me know where you are in regards to building your own sales funnel. Um, so if you don't have a, a, a product, you can make something, you can come up with something, you can, you know, put something in. Cause again, think about the customer journey. What is the natural, if you have a lead magnet, what is the natural next step? If you have a course, if you have a program, then take the first lesson out of your, your course and charge them for that. Okay. There's so many different ways you can make a, a tiny break even offer. Ah, okay, Kaylee, that's so good. I'm so glad that you now understand what this actually looks like, right? There's too many people talking about, you know, get your targeted traffic, nurture them and send to your sales page. You're like, I don't really know how, <laughs> like, what do I do? And then not only do you not know how, how do you actually do this in a way that again, gives you your time back? Literally all of our time is spent trying to provide more value to our students 
or just getting traffic into my funnels. That's it. Cause I don't need to go around trying to promote, to show up. I can go and do lives and podcasts and things like that to just have fun and also get traffic to my funnels because now I have more confidence knowing that when I send people to my website, they're not going to just go off and go somewhere else. Like there, I, I have a system that's going to take care of them. And also keep in mind too, this is precious um, site traffic. So if you have your Pinterest pixels, your Google pixels, your, um, your Facebook pixels, guess what? They're going to, now you can actually pixel and tar- retarget that site traffic. You can actually build lookalike audiences from this, this traffic versus, you know, trying to build a cold audience, which can be extremely expensive. So again, this is the first phase where you're doing this organically, proving that you can get the conversions. Then you go on and you turn on those paid forms of traffic and you are literally printing money. Okay. This is, yeah, this is so, this is literally so crazy. And this is literally so valuable. Okay. So as we discussed today, there are probably a few, there's a few big problems that you're probably facing. You're probably going through, you know, you're frustrated because you have a lack of daily and consistent sales and how to actually make them right. So we're throwing spaghetti at the wall. Yes. Okay. So can you add more offers? Yes. Okay. So I don't, I didn't want to get too advanced girl, but in my tiny offer, I even have upsells and you can take them down a whole upsell train. Okay. You can literally take one freebie and end up with hundreds of dollars. I didn't want to get too complex. That's why I kept it super simple. But yes, you can actually add more products and upsells to them. I actually have an upsell on my tiny offer. So they either spend $40, I mean $30, but most of them take the upsell. So and now that's an extra $20 that I wouldn't have had. Okay. So yes, um, this works for any industry, whether you're a service provider, whether you are a retail, you are e-commerce, whether you are a coach or a um, uh, uh, online course creator. Yes, yeah, yes. And that's exactly what happens inside of the funnel is the sales psychology. That's what everything is intentional, moving them through the customer journey, but also moving them through the sales journey, right? Covering all the emotional basis, all the objections, all the false beliefs, covering all the logic and um, the things that they need um, to to understand if they want to purchase, right? So again, another problem you may be having is you're not where you want to be in regards to cash flow and time. So systems are going to help you avoid that or to to fix that. And you want to avoid long-term having a business that isn't profitable because that's another thing is that we're spending all this money and not realizing we're not really making any money. Um, and so now you're staying glued 24 seven, trying to make ends meet. Yes. Pinterest is amazing. So that, Pinterest is so amazing, um, for driving traffic, uh, to these funnels. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, I'm so happy. I really love, uh, light bulb moments. Okay. That is pretty much what I was hoping to give you guys. That's what I said. I really was excited to actually show you inside the sales funnel. And, um, at the end, I'll drop the link, um, once I fix this, for the funnel so that you guys have a copy of that. Um, And so, yes, uh, like we talked about, the major key to success is time, my collapsing time, okay? One of my favorite things is to collapse time by learning from mentors, someone that has already done what I want to do because we already know it's going to cost us more time and money to try to figure it out on our own. So you need to learn how to make a lot of money quickly versus a lot of money over a long period of time. Okay. Because t- especially my, you know, people that are kind of in not the best financial place because 10 K in one month is way more powerful than 10 K in five months. And so systems are going to not only help you make cash faster, because again, you're not leaving money on the table. You aren't, you know, so every day someone is ready to buy, you have more time to actually do more valuable things. So 10 K is way more powerful in one month than it is in 10 in five months. It's going to give you the ability to actually use your money and make it work for you. So time is way more important than money. So I just have a few more things. If you guys want to stick around and, you know, get a copy of this funnel. So at this point, you know, my action takers, you have one of two choices, right? So what is your time and your dreams worth to you? So how many of us, yes, girl, I'm going to get a Pinterest VA for sure. How many of us are, you know, 
in this for months and months and months and years and years. And we are literally on a hamster wheel doing the same thing. So what is your time and your dreams, you know, worth to you? So we can either, you know, stay stuck and go it alone. I know what that's like. And as an entrepreneur, you already know this is a, this is a lonely journey. So you can stay stuck, go it alone. Nothing will change. Everything will stay exactly the same as it is now, right? You can predict your future by uh, looking at the choices that you make today. So you can stay stuck or go it alone, or you can choose number two and embrace a system that works and get it right by being coached and directed by someone that has already done what you want to do over and over successfully, right? Because we were in the getting paid business. We didn't start these businesses to just uh, be 24 seven slaves and sit here and do nothing. Okay. So let me know in the comments, you know, what, what you want to do. What do you choose? Number one, stay stuck and go it alone. Try to figure this out on your own or get support and use a system to get it right. Because I also forgot to mention that I literally give you guys copies of my entire funnel and not only copies of my entire funnel, but I give you copies of the automation. So not just like I again, I don't like wasting time. I like getting straight to what I need to do. So a lot of times people just give you like templates and designs. I literally give you a carbon copy automation, emails, everything already set up so that you just, now that you know what it is you're doing, you just have to plug in your business. Okay. So if there's anybody out there in their mind that are thinking number two, okay, this is the end of the presentation, but if it is cool, I'm just going to take a few more minutes to tell you about how I can help you and how you can take what you just learned and apply it to apply it to your business now. Okay, and if you, you're not a number two, then thank you so much. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I genuinely appreciate it. And hopefully you guys uh, took some amazing notes. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to share with you how I can help because I'm literally so excited because like I said, I give you copies of everything we just talked about. Not just that little image, but literally the actual setup, the breakdown um, but I just want to be upfront. This is definitely not for you if you are not willing to be flexible with your approach, if you are not ready to truly grow your business, if you you know need a lot of hand holding, if you're not willing to try and keep trying, this is definitely not for you. Um, because the systems work if you make it work, but you can't make it work if you have you know a mindset that's definitely based on um looking for uh limiting beliefs, right? You can, if you argue for your limiting beliefs, you get to keep them. So we don't do that here. So this is definitely for you. If you feel like you are coachable, you're willing to try something new, you're committed to your next level. You most importantly, you have a product, you have an offer that genuinely is going to change someone's life. You just want to know how to actually put it in there in a way that is the most authentic for you. You want to actually have time and freedom and financial freedom and that you have the ability to show up and serve. So this is definitely who this is for. Yes, Lynn, definitely keep going because that is literally how we learn. It always kind of confuses me when people are like, it didn't work, but you've only tried it one time. So I'm like, you got to try it multiple times. So if you haven't heard, um, or you haven't seen it, because I know there's a lot of new faces, uh, what we just talked about today and then some. Um, literally, Brandon, I saw your <laughs> text message where you're like, someone needs a college degree after going through your program. That is so funny. That really cracked me up. But um, this is followers to sales. It literally does exactly what it's called. Turns your followers into sales, into paying customers. So if you saw how that that funnel, you're like, oh, yeah, now I see how I get paid customers. Yes, girl, she is in my course and she I love. She's my um, fairy, my, well, my mermaid BFF now. Um, so how to finally master turning your followers into paying customers. Okay, you already see I'm not pumping out a ton of content. If you see my Instagram I've never gone live on that Instagram, <laughs> okay? And so what you just saw, leveraging the power of that organic traffic, driving it to that funnel, literally having pay in full customers, okay? This is a customer attraction system. If you use these processes, you will literally grow hundreds of leads per week. I had one student make a post and she got like over 150 opt-ins of yes, 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 I want your lead magnet in like less than an hour. Okay, learn what to do to actually nurture them and how to actually close them. Okay, and this is not like any other program that just teaches you all this stuff and then leaves you to figure everything out. If any of those people that are in my course now, Brandon, yes, you already know 
I'm going to teach you something. And then I'm going to also give you the tool to actually get started. I'm going to give you the roadmap to get started. I'm going to give you the strategy to get started so that you're not just learning things conceptually. You actually can take it and put it into action. Okay. So not only are you going to grow thousands of Instagram followers that are like targeted, primed, ready to go, you're going to actually send them down a funnel that's actually going to convert them. And again, I like to keep my course information. There is so much value in there, but everything is very bite-sized and straight to the point and designed for you to take action. So you get, again, the tools and everything that you need to get started. So I have, for whatever reason, (laughs) but I love them. A lot of my busy mompreneurs are in this group, but they are getting such crazy results as busy moms because again everything is bite-sized and actionable and then it gives you the tools and resources to take action so that you're not learning a bunch of stuff and then having to figure out well how do i actually how do i actually set this up so it literally is just three phases this is not a 90-day course this is not a um 12 week course or anything like that. It's just literally a blueprint. It's a three phase blueprint. So you can get results in as little as 24 hours, 48 hours, 30 days. It's just depending on wherever you're at in your business and what you need. So the first phase you go through is just setting up your foundation. So we do a deep dive because a lot of times people say, I don't know if I'm attracting the right people. I don't really actually know how to you know, put together my buyer persona. We break that down because if you don't know who it is you're talking to, you're going to have a hard time attracting the right people, a hard time with your messaging and your marketing. So we're going to go through who your buyer is. I'm also going to teach you, if you need to, how to validate your offer. A lot of times we jump into business and we put all this time and effort into an offer and then nobody actually wants to buy it. So I'm going to actually teach you how to make money while trying to validate your offer so that you can actually create something that is like, you know, hotcakes. People actually want it. Um, And then you're going to get my effortless sales blueprint. It is literally my most favorite thing ever. So you really, you never have to worry about how to market and sell. Okay, you're going to attract ready to buy pay. I'm telling you, it's literally ready to buy pay in full. No more discount dealing. Okay, you're going to know exactly what to post, when to post, how to post it. How do you establish that no like trust and sales at the same time? We're not taking months and months to do random. What I showed you today in the lead funnel, I'm going to actually show you how to do that with the content that gets people in the lead funnel. So they're literally so primed to buy. I'm telling you, when I started this, I had like 100 followers. 154 followers. I almost made like $3,000 uh, because people just came to the page. I had the exact right content. I knew exactly what to say, sent them down my lead funnel. And it was like, I woke up to sales. I woke up to people DMing me being afraid that my offer wasn't available anymore because I you know, was closing the, the, the timeline. Okay. So learn exactly what to say to get your followers to take any action that you want. No more convincing, no more begging. Okay. Then number two, phase two. Oh yes. So clarity and confidence is in. Okay. I don't, I know how many times I get those DMS where people say that they stay up at night because they just don't really know what to do the next day. So there's a lot of fear, but what happens when you actually know what it is you're supposed to do clarity and confidence. Okay. So that's another thing that I love so much that I can give you inside of this program is the certainty to move with clarity and confidence in your business so that you don't have the physical stress of you know, the burnout of like the fear of anxiety, right? Anxiety on your body is extremely, extremely physically stressful, but just simple clarity and confidence literally goes a long way. Okay. So let me know if this is anything that sounds it to you, my number two action takers. Phase two, you already know, grow targeted and engaged followers. You've already seen it. I've had people grow Literally, she went to third. She's like over 35,000, pretty elevated vibes. I have another person that just literally grew 800 followers in one day. Like it's just, Growth is not an issue, okay? You're going to have your cake and eat it too. You're going to get a quantity of targeted followers and you're going to get a quality amount of targeted followers. You get to literally have both. I know everyone's saying like, it's not about the numbers. I know that it's not about the numbers, but if you can have the quality numbers, why not have them both, okay? So... Yes, Stephanie, it really is. And that's kind of why I went live last week because I had anxiety for two days because I was really exhausted, but I kind of sat with it and I realized I was like, holy crap, this anxiety is physically, 
emotionally, mentally, and like draining. And like, I knew that I was going to be okay, but I just really felt so much for people that go through this all the time because it's freaking exhausting. But simply having that clarity, even though you don't have the certainty, clarity helps combat anxiety. So that is the hugest thing I like to, to provide. But yes, we are going to grow targeted and engaged followers. You're going to learn all of my auto engagement strategies. And that doesn't mean you get automatic fake likes and comments. No, it means that there are places where you can authentically automate your engagement so that you have more time to show up as you coming in with those real conversations. Okay. So yeah, you already see, uh, if you haven't been ke keeping up with pretty elevated vibes. She is at like 30,000 or something. She started in February at like 6,000. And then now we are at the end of March or what is this April? And she is literally over 30,000 followers all for free, all targeted. And now she is beginning to monetize it because she didn't have an offer because she wasn't expecting this kind of result. And yeah, so 25K tar targeted followers in a little over a month. Okay. I like to have my cake and eat it too. And then the last part, which is the most fun part, is to bring in sales, okay? So everything that you went through and you saw today, we're going to go over that. How do you actually sell with words? How do you actually understand the right words? How do you do emotion-based, emotional-based storytelling? How do you stop pushing your product and actually focus on the benefits of what it is they're going to get? How do you actually master sales, okay? Email list building, not an issue. You're literally going to grow honestly, thousands, like it's not that difficult to, to grow an email list. Once you master copy script, like sales, curiosity scripts. Okay. How you actually establish that no like trust. So like I talked about today, you get the exact copies of all of my high converting funnels. So the growth specifically is for Instagram, but again, a lot of what I teach is principle and foundational. So I have a lot of girls that don't use Instagram. They use this for their Facebook page or um, their um, uh, Facebook group. So principle wise, this definitely works anywhere. You can use this for your TikTok. You can use it for your Pinterest. I just focus on Instagram because obviously for the sake of, you know, not being all over the place, you just kind of pick one. But again, I talk about a lot in the inside the training that it is all, um, principle-based learning so that you can apply them um, anywhere and to anything. So yes, a lot of these sales strategies are going to help you with, again, these words, put it in your email marketing, take these words, put it in other different socials that you have. Most importantly, pipeline them down a sales funnel so that it can do all of the selling for you. So you can already see, so my girl Shantae, I don't know if she's here. She usually kind of joins a lot of these things, but she actually uses the course to grow her Facebook page, her Twitter, and uh, something else, I think. But she doesn't even use it for Instagram because, um, again, like I said, it's principles. And so when she was just using my freebies, she almost she reached almost a half a million accounts. Um, and she went and she got 20 sales from going to, from crickets, from like having nothing, like no sales or anything at all. And that was just from her using all of the freebies that I had available. And then when she actually signed up to the course, she had 16 sales in three hours. Okay. So that's the power of like, when you use the freebies, which are amazing, but when you actually take the information that I'm giving you, um, and then it's going to actually help you. And then the amazing bonuses that come with this roadmap, because like I said, it's a blueprint, it's a roadmap, you literally get a master checklist. So you just start wherever you're at. Um, I always say it's great to learn everything, but you start where you're at so you can get the results that you want. But you have a private members only community. So a lot of times, if you need a place to troubleshoot, you have either a private Facebook group, or there is kind of like a support ticket area so that you can get this, uh, you know, the help that you need for whatever it is you're trying to troubleshoot. Then you also get uh, the social biz starter pack. So if you are like, I don't know how to set up my Instagram or my social media, uh, like I said, I got you covered. It has branding kit. It has the bio audit. It has the content and caption strategies. It has the hashtags already for you. I have a content idea board that has hundreds of different ideas. So you can literally use it to get set up and get started and get your Instagram or whatever social you decide to use up and running. 
And then of course the effortless sales blueprint is literally my most favorite part. Um, but it's the, my I'm telling you the key to success is buyer surveys guys, like major, one of the major keys, ask your customers the right questions. And they're literally going to tell you how to sell to them. Okay. Then you take those questions and you put them inside of a selling outline. This is my magic formula. Like I'm holding my Harry Potter pen right now, my wand, and I literally wave it in the air. And this is your key to effortless sales. Okay. I don't back. I don't chase. I attract and I convert. And it's because I spend time understanding and talking to my customers, understanding what it is they need to know and what are their fears, their objections, their, their goals, their desires. And I take that information, I put it into a selling outline that takes them from emotion to logic. And that is how I use the power of words to convert them by using their own words. Okay. That's how people say, oh my gosh, you are inside of my head. Cause I'm using the words that are inside of your head. <laughs> So another thing I like to do is, again, I like to give you clarity and I like to make it fun. Ashley used the the social biz starter pack and now she's like, holy crap, I have 90 ideas to post about, which is like so much, right? Imagine going from, I have no idea what to post to like 98. Like you can't do that all in a month. Okay. And so now she's like, while my kids are playing, I can write weeks of, you know, weeks of content and actually schedule it. Thank God, you know, she has finally has clarity and then vet she made a post in a group and i believe after she did this she had 40 plus comments within three hours where she before could never get you know comments on a post and now it's like she's mastered the curiosity script and she's just generating leads like crazy so yes yeah. yeah, stephanie like a copy is actually so amazing and it actually really is so fun i don't like to give you scripts or templates that you can just like plug and play there are scripts and templates involved but i like to actually teach you formulas so that you can actually understand the principles of copy and you know using it for whatever you want engagement sales whatever and actually learn how to create your own copy and not just use a template plug it in and not really understand again the intention behind what it is you're trying to do. And so my most important bonuses that I'm going to give you. So I'm going to give you my sales page and webinar templates. Okay. So if you are tired of staring at a blank screen, trying to figure out how to make a sales page, right? Not only am I going to teach you what goes where on a sales page, how do you actually do this and that in a webinar? I'm actually going to give you the exact templates so that all you have to do at that point is truly plug it in. Okay. So if you use sales pages, um, this is going to be perfect for you. If you use webinars, it's going to be perfect for you. Then the lead and sales funnel template. So everything that you just saw inside of the training that we had today, I'm going to give you the exact copy. So you get the exact copy of the actual funnel pages, as well as the actual email automation already set up. So you get that too. And so then you just update it and match it to your business. And I'm going to give you multiple different styles of lead and sales funnels, not just one. You're going to get, you're going to get many. And then of course the email nurture sequence scripts. So what do you actually say for the scripts after someone opts into your lead magnets? What do you actually say for your abandoned cart sequences? How do you actually now use your emails to convert, right? Because we don't want to just grow a bunch of emails and have people sit there because that's super expensive. It gets super expensive at a point to house all those emails because you're going to grow emails like crazy, but you want to also make sure you're making money from those emails. And then most importantly, you're going to get access to the live training. So we go live once a week for q and I can't tell you there's not a lot of courses unless you are paying for a high ticket or one-on-one -on -one coaching where you actually get help, live help, live support outside of just a Facebook group or a community. We go live once a week. That's your opportunity to troubleshoot anything that you need help with. Um, and so total value so far of all the bonuses is over 13,944. Crazy value. And again, this is so crazy. So Tony Ann, if she's here, cold lead to hot customer in 48 hours, okay? She took everything, plugged it in. Okay. So just imagine signing up for a course, not having to spend hours and days and weeks trying to set up the funnel, the design, the light. like it's too much. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to put you through all of that. I'm literally going to give you everything, plug it in, change everything out. And within 48 hours of launching that funnel, she made, um, someone bought her tiny offer. And then shortly after buying her tiny offer, they paid in full. 
$500 for her um, uh, branding service. And then literally now she's up to $1,500. It's only been a few days. And this is what happens when you use the funnel. She says that this is like the most effortless sales that she has ever made. She feels like she has not worked for this at all. And this is the power of a no like trust funnel. Okay. So I just want to recap everything that you are getting. You're getting the three phase customer attraction setup. Again, this is not a 90 day, three week, six month course, not a time-based course. It's just a roadmap. So you look at the portion of the course that you currently need for your business and you get started. Okay, so that's a $12,000 value, access to a private Facebook group, Facebook community, a members only community. You have the social biz starter pack. So if you want to ever figure out how to get, you know, your Instagram started and, you know, or any of your socials, you can use this to, to get it set up. The effortless sales blueprint, the key to selling. I'm telling you, you're going to be a wizard at words. Sales pages, webinar templates, don't worry about having to actually set it up for this. the strategies that you use. They're already going to be in place. Same thing with your lead and sales funnel templates, as well as your email nurture sequence scripts. And then you get to join me, and I will be bringing on some other guests as well every week, um, usually every Thursday at 12 p.m. where we go live, and you actually get access to myself and you can ask any of the questions. So the total value of the program is 25,944, but obviously I am not going to charge you that. So what does this actually really mean? Okay. What does it really mean to actually start to use a system to actually get the answers that you are looking for? Okay. And I know a lot of you can relate, relate to a lot of this. So if anything that you can relate to is something that you need, definitely let me know. But the first thing is finally opening your bank account and not seeing and seeing multiple commas. Okay. No more seeing negative bank balances. How many of you are like so scared sometimes to look in your bank account because you know, it's going to be like, it could be negative. You could have overdraft charges or it could just be really, really, really small. Okay. No more crippling fear, no more penny pinching, no more trying to make ends meet. Okay. Another thing, stop trading dollars for your time. Okay. Actually build a team. So some Diane, I don't know if she's still on or she's going to the spa and we're creating a post on systems and how that allows you to go to the spa. Okay. Stop trading dollars for your time. We didn't build businesses to be 24 seven entrepreneurs. You can have a business that you can work in instead of working on. Okay, because a lot of times, like I said, I know what it's like to make the money, but still not know what it's like to free myself from the business. So you want not only financial freedom, but you want time freedom. Systems are your time freedom. Okay, and finally go on that family vacation you've been dreaming of, right? All expensive paid, not like saving up for 10 years just to go on a, on a vacation for three days, but the whole time you're on vacation, you're thinking about all the work and all the money you're being, you're spending, like it, then you can't even really enjoy the vacation and then it's over and then you're back to reality. Okay. Yay, Kiara. That's so exciting. Yes. And Candice, this is, this replay is going to be up for a little bit and then it is coming down. <laughs> oh my gosh, Drana. That's so funny. And then again, any of my debt people start breaking down that past debt. When you actually are able to make a lot more money than you're pouring out, you can break down that debt. I know because I've been there. Okay. Like I said, two, two shark loans, over 134% interest rate. It sucks. And I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, everyone else is having kids, buying houses. And I'm like, oh, just kidding. I'm sitting here in debt and I have to borrow money to pay this rent. You know, so whatever your goals are, finally plan to buy your dream home, your dream car, whatever it is. But the most important thing is that you finally get your time back. What's the most important thing in life? Why do we build these businesses? So we have time, so we can have more experiences, so we can create more opportunities, so we can invest in ourselves, so we can learn things, right? Like, yeah, Stephanie, take your kids to Disney. Like nobody wants to take their kids to Disney, but the whole time they're, you know, checking the bank account, checking the balances. And so you're not even present. You're not even able to enjoy that. And that is literally why I created all these things because I knew, know what that was like. I know what it was like to finally get somewhere and not enjoy it. I know what it's like to be burnt out, right? To be stuck in a hospital bed and your business is now not running because your business was reliant upon you physically being there. And I was like, this can't be my life. So I had to learn what it took to actually say what gives me not only financial freedom, but what gives me time freedom. Okay. 
So how do you actually join the program? I'm going to leave it open for um, some questions, but how do you actually join the program? Um, so again, the total value of the program is 25944 but obviously I'm not going to charge you that. And if you are not aware, the full program price launch is going to be 2500 once we make it fully public and live. But if you are ready to sign up, you can sign up now, followers to sales.com, and you pay in full for only $9.97. So I always say the best math you can learn is how to calculate the future cost of your current decisions. You can predict your life based on whatever it is you're doing now, okay? Time is not money. Time is more valuable than money. You can always get your money back, but you can never get your time back. So shortcut your way to success by actually having a roadmap that gives you clarity and confidence so that you can move forward with intention, right? Use systems and sales funnels to save your time. If anything, I'm going to give you a copy of the funnel today. Try it out. Try to figure it out, right? If you want to and but and use it and, and start to actually make those changes inside of your business, okay? But always just consider and ask yourself, what is the cost of inaction if you don't take, you know, the right steps? What is going to, where's that, where are you going to be six months from now? Okay. And what is the cost of you taking action? What is that going to look, look like six months from now? That's a lot of things that times we don't, we don't future, truly future pace in the right way. Okay. So just think about it. Take a bit of that income that you're spending on things like eating out or movies or more clothes, more shoes, more makeup, and actually put it towards an investment that can give you an ROI so that you can actually go and buy those shoes and clothes and movies and things like that, you know, easily and effortlessly. All right. So like I said, you have one of two choices. You can, you know, do the same thing you're doing now, which is totally fine. Because again, some of us aren't ready. And if you are ready, then get the support that you need. Use a system that works. Okay. And let's get started. Let's get it popping. I'm telling you, I'm going to give you a copy of everything so that you're not spending the time actually trying to set it up. And for anyone that does decide to sign up within the next few hours, um, I'm actually going to give you a copy of my new um, lead funnel, which is for anyone that's interested in mini courses. It's actually my four part mini course um, sales funnel. So I'm actually going to give you a copy of that. All you have to do is um, comment uh, mini course when you are done signing up inside of this replay and I'll make sure you actually get a copy of it. So that's it. Um, I'm seriously, thank you so much for your time. I literally just had so much fun. This was like the time of my life. Um, and I hope that you guys have found so much value. I'm going to, um, fix that funnel, the, some of the spelling on that funnel, and then I'll drop the link so that you can actually have a copy of this. This replay will be up for, I say a day or so, and then it's coming down. Um, and yeah, I hope that I see you guys inside of the program. And yes, you can get the mini course after you sign up. I will actually give you a copy of that whole lead funnel email automation system. Um, so yes, definitely uh, let me know. Oh, I see your text earlier too, Brandon. And that's it. And if yeah, if you have any questions, you guys, I'm going to um, stay on for a little bit just to answer any questions you may have. Thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you, May, for dropping that. And Charlie, yes, I will see you soon. Yes, Stephanie, girl, I understand. Candice, yes, it'll be up for just a little bit. Kiara, yes, make sure you send me a message, girl. And let me see if anyone had any other questions. Let, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to have to rewatch it again. Okay, yes, Asia. Handle that call. Are you, our specific system? Yes, um, specific systems and apps uh, recommendations definitely are included. You can use the ones that I have, um, which are definitely uh, going to be helpful for you uh, plugging it in. And yes, you're, oh, hey, Tiki, didn't even know you were on here. You're welcome, Candice. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Tina. Does anyone have any questions? I'm just going to stay on for just a, a few to answer any questions that you may have. And let me make a note really quick. Um... I have never personally used WordPress forms, but honestly, as long as it's capturing, it just needs to do one thing, capture the information. 
So uh, capture the emails and capture uh, the, the, the name and the email and send it to your email service provider, whatever it is that you use. As long as it does that, then it doesn't really necessarily, there's no one better lead form um, tool. So let me just say something real quick. Update um, the funnel map. Okay, cool. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, Kiara, I will definitely uh, look out for that. So hopefully that answers your question, Lynn. And yes, um, does anyone else have any more questions? Let me check actually my other chat. I didn't even check that chat this whole time. Okay, cool. Only a few questions there, which I'll answer. Thank you so much, Hey, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna pin this to the top of the group so um, anyone can check it out. But that's it. I'm literally so excited. I had so much fun and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Thank you. You're so welcome. Awesome. Thank you guys. So I'm going to end this. Uh, if you do have any questions afterwards while the replay is still uh, available, you can just drop them in the comments and I will come back and answer them. And yes, hopefully I see you guys inside the course. We go live tomorrow um, for the course Q&A at 12 p.m. for any of my course members that are already here. Um, and I will see you guys soon.